So what I've done in previous years is I've just logged shit, right? And I've found this today. Well, my son found it for me, right? And it's from the 29th of November 2009. Simon Cowell calls for politics extractor, right? Um, and the beginning bit I won't say. Right, like it's just bollocks, right? Um, just about televised debates. Music and TV mogul Cowell told the forthcoming issue of GQ magazine that there would be music and loads of spotlights to inject more fun into the proceedings. Cowell is forging an entertainment empire with Arcadia retail boss Sir Philip Green leading to speculation over the possibility of Cowell winning back rights to existing programmes. Don't know what's going on there. Developing new shows and forging merchandising deals. Asked if the pair, so Simon Cowell and Sir Philip Green, or a pair, Sir, right? Um, asked if the pair would entertain the idea of staging a debate between David Cameron and Gordon Brown. Carroll responded, I wouldn't mind doing it, like the presidential debates in America. I'd like to produce that here. I would, just for the hell of it. Make it a bit more fun, like we have on the x Factor, down the steps and some music and loads of spotlights. But Sir Philip said he would probably not be interested. Mr Brown signalled the willingness to take part in the series in a series of television debates with the other main party leaders in October, right? So that, like, I'm like, Sir Philip Green, some cows, like, I'm sure I've heard something about this geezer before, right? Um, and I found this. Oh. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Um, F Philip Green, this was, this is more than a year old. This is from February 2019, and we're now in, what month are we in? <laughs> is it May? We're in May of 2020. Yes, it is May. Uh, Sir Philip Green allegedly subjected people working in his business empire. So this is from February of last year. The Simon Cowell hooking up with him is in um, November of 2019. Philip Green allegedly subjected people working in his business empire to abuse and other inappropriate behaviour that was at times racial, physical and sexual, according to a report. A host of serious allegations were published on Friday evening by the Daily Telegraph after an injunction obtained by the businessman was lifted. So he'd basically said, shut the fuck up, and they're like, nah, at the end of the day, we're allowed to say that you are a racist, sexist, abusive bastard. And ten years before that, he hooked up with Simon Cowell. Now, I would like to see something from Simon Cowell saying, I no longer want anything to do with this man. If anybody has that, please share it with me and I'll take back everything I said. Because at the end of the day... Um, the paper said that some of the people involved have made complaints about Green, but they have been covered up. In some cases, Green is alleged to have paid people large sums of money in return for their silence. He was accused of making, making racist remarks to black employees, of groping female employees, and of being physically aggressive and abusive towards both male and female members of staff. He's got the X Factor, obviously. This is the first. I'm going to label this video, I think, like the uncovered documents or some shit like that. Because, like, I do have a lot of, um, of shit like this, like, that will be coming out of the woodwork. And at the end of the day, it, whether it proves or not that these people are bad, we will see. But I did spend a lot of years 
years ago, many years ago, collating shit, making evidence files, and that is the, this is all I have, like literally, there you go, my Simon Cowell file, and I've got that in it. Like, I have way more on Simon Cowell than that. I just have massive piles of paper that I've not, that I've not filed all over the house. Bad to me. But, hopefully one day I'll be able to make sense. But, right now, that just seems like it doesn't add up. That somebody who's been done for, and, and paid out huge sums of money for cases where he's abusive to people, where he's racist and where he's sexist and he it goes over lines, why the fuck is Simon Cowell tied in with that? Simon Cowell was just cute, eh?